Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA. Discretion is advised. I think I screwed up the intro. It's the Wrestling Mayhem Show. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. And we are here. I am here in the Sorgatron Media offices, studios, uh, back cave, uh, whatever you want to call it here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we are uh, countrywide, continent-wide here on the Raw Wrap-Up where we talk and wrap up Raw and tend to disagree on how the night went for us. Uh, tonight, of course, with us as the huge is from Pooh Kipsy, New York, the only mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE. It's Mad Mike. Oh, good damn <laughs> <laughs> it's Rowdy Mad Mike. <laughs> how you doing, Mike? You're not, you're, you, I think that, that 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 pretty much gives a good preview of how this is gonna go. Yeah, this, this is gonna be a night. This get this is gonna be an interesting. It's gonna be show. a night. All right. Uh, and also with us, uh, we uh, like I said, we're trying to cycle in some new voices in here, get some different opinions on the round or uh, round, Rowdy Raw wrap up. <laughs> Rowdy Raw Wrap Up! Yeah! <laughs> yep. Now we definitely need that theme music. But anyways, with us from the great, the great Northwest, which I was in your general time zone uh, there a couple weeks ago there, uh, Tina Keys is joining us. Uh, you may hello, know, hello. You know her from the chat room all every week. Hello, oh, hello. So- Sork. Alex Miller. He may, he, he may have hated Raw more, some, more than I did. He said... He's saying that show made me flaccid and that he needs Tide Pods. <laughs> Jeez. So we're okay. doing that good. We're doing that all right. good. First of all, he, he really doesn't give a damn about reputation. <laughs> first of all, I have to ask. I, I want to roll back for a moment because when, when you know, I, we got Tina with us and I've been I've been wanting to get your I think I know where I'll go. Um um, your opinion of last week's Bobby Lashley obstacle course? I hope you got to see, or or it depends on how painful it was for you. Uh, I got to see it. That's all. That's all. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> well, at least he's not going to be in a worse feud now. Mm. Hey, guys, mm. I'm talking about Sami Zayn because he wasn't on the show. I, man, I, 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 and this has nothing to do with tonight's Raw, but I feel for Sami Zayn in this one because he worked his ass off on it, right? And trying to, yeah, I mean, trying to do his best. He is the MVP of this feud, right? I mean, Bobby Lashley just smiled. Sorry, and, that's like saying you're the best player on the last place team. Yeah, but man, I feel like, like, it's like, it's like getting getting squashed by the ultimate ultimate warrior at WrestleMania. Something good's around the corner for him, right? It has no. to be. No, 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 no. Maybe we'll hang out in the UK. UK you know NXT. how long it took Triple H to get something good around the corner? Yeah, but we we have so many. We, we have we have so many. <laughs> they have so Sammy many. Sammy can't sleep with Aurora yet. She's really young. Oh, 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 oh. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Not. It, I it's was not thinking. Be thing. We have so many more hours of television now. I just figured everything just moves faster, right? So, sword, sword. Raw has not moved fast for me in five years. Jeez. Unless I am fast forwarding it. And thank you. Is that producer Missy that put the PSA that Tide Pods are not candy in the chat Tide room? Tide Pods are not candy. That's somebody. Uh, not, there you go. They are not candy. They are to be used in baking. They may look tasty and colorful, but anyways, <laughs> uh, we'll 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 we'll, wow. we'll start off. Alex Carr is out there in I'm Long Beach. Uh, highlight of Raw for him was Bobby showing Roman how to do a spear. Nope. No. Nope. 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 Because okay, let's no, just be because clear. the because the only reason Lashley's spear looks good is because everyone flips after they get hit by it. Mm-hmm. They do the exact same spear. Go ahead, Sorry, Tina. different brand, but Charlotte Flair does the, the yes. spear. Yes, that is the correct answer. <laughs> That's correct. Appropriate. Appropriate. That is correct. Also from Alex, um, I I am so happy 
with the B team tonight. That was the only good thing. On <laughs> that was the uh, most, that, that was, was the, the only good thing. Amazing on thing on Raw. I'm so happy with that. I'm so happy with the 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 leader of worlds. I mean, I, th- I think the only way that could have been better is if they didn't go for the obvious joke and they had Bo be Matt Hardy. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Kurt was an amazing Matt Hardy. He was, but but like. <laughs> Bo with that with that beard wig on, yeah, just actually looked like Bray Wyatt. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just actually looked like him. <laughs> and it's just like it's like he's heard this a lot. Uh. <laughs> yeah, sir. I, I'm sure I'm sure Bray definitely wasn't running his speech all of his speeches past Bo before he said. So this is going on, and and I'm wondering, you know, think and having just seen, I got to watch the last ten minutes still of the twenty four seven they did on the Hardys, which is tremendous, by the way. Um, yeah. and. and you why that just happened? Because I bet it doesn't. <laughs> What's that? I said, does it cover the DUI he just had? Because I bet it does. No, it does. The, the, the oh wait, the the newest? The Is there another one? Had. The he one just, just had the one. recent one. Yeah, and then he won the U.S. title because WWE doesn't care. No, no, they do talk about that. The one this he, most recent one that just happened. The one that happened like oh. late last year. No. The one that happened a, like a month or so ago, Sorg. I think they did. No, it was it was a few months ago. Okay, it was. Okay, let, he... let's roll it back because Jeff Hardy only had one public DUI since he's returned to WWE. Because they talk about one. I don't know, honestly. <laughs> if we have, to... <laughs> maybe it's not a good thing. Well, anyways, um, but no, they definitely talk about a DUI because um, they they talk about it right after the Ultimate Deletion stuff. So yeah, that would have been a more recent one. <laughs> So was the more yeah, okay. yeah. So no, they're very open by like, hey, Jeff's got some shit to deal with, and we're we're dealing with this shit. Uh, okay. I haven't seen the whole like getting from I fucked up again to hey, here's a belt, buddy. You know, uh, like what that transition, like what that narrative is yet. But it they they are very very no holds barred on stuff like that. Okay. They go they talk to Sting and show the stuff was this is the wrong show for this by the way. This is for tomorrow's oh, show. They the thing? They showed the thing. They showed the Sting thing. Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, I have to watch this now. I, I was gonna actually avoid it because I didn't really care, but oh no, it's good. It's, okay. it's I, I I need to watch that. It's now. mostly about how like they they they've been on drugs this whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Anyways, so, raw was so horrible. raw, but now he's teaming with Bray Wyatt, and it is wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Except uh, they don't know what to do with them. Wait a second. So maybe correct me if I'm wrong on this. But wasn't the Raw Tag Team titles supposed to be on last night? Oh, don't get me started. Yes, it was. I thought they were. Was I thought they were too? Yeah. I was like, I was like sitting in the back of my head. I think we're missing a match. I think we're missing a match. Well, we were sitting we're there missing doing a the count. We're doing the ten o'clock count of how many matches are left, and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. and this one, right? Oh god, they're going to eleven thirty. You know, um, or I, I was like, okay, maybe they have to cut it for time, <laughs> and we'll be on Raw tonight. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. In reality, the B team went back and filmed that amazing promo that we saw tonight, and they're like, oh, "Hold on a second, we need to wait. We need to sit on this. We need to go with this." But, but if you would, I mean, but do you see? I, I really hope this turns into an ultimate deletion scenario, because I think that would be amazing. Adding oh, what these guys are doing, that's, that's perfect. Mm-hmm. But, but you, it would you'd be have to call it the ultimate B deletion. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Like it's a right. But, it's a. I'm sorry, Tina. <laughs> Go ahead. And I was gonna say, going with the ultimate deletion thing is like it's gonna instead of it being like dark and like sinister, like the ones that we've seen, this is gonna be interesting to have it a little bit more lighter, a little bit more comical. Mm-hmm. I want. I want to point as dark as that last one was. We did have a Scooby Doo uh, sequence. Yes. Behind the 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 runes or whatever. So <laughs> there's like a level. Uh, <laughs> now I have a question. If we if we are building to another ultimate B lesion, which I'm calling that now and forever until mm. it happens, um, <laughs> does it. Curtis Axel get thrown into the lake of reincarnation and come back as Michael McGillicuddy? Yes, absolutely. Okay, absolutely, absolutely. Okay. We didn't get our Husky Harris, but I don't know. We're maybe. damn sure gonna get our Michael McGillicuddy. I mean, maybe there's something <laughs> along the way since we're going this kind of fun direction with Bray Wyatt. Like maybe they're just like Halloween. They just like cosplay as a. Uh, he cosplays as a Husky Harris. I, I really hope if if we do <laughs> Ultimate B-Lesion, that IRS makes an appearance. Oh, yes. Oh, 
<laughs> Absolutely. Straight up IRS just makes. An How confusing would that be to people that are not that long of wrestling? Like, like let's say like a 15 year old is watching wrestling, right? And they just watch wrestling kind of casually. They're actually kind of fans of Bray Wyatt and 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 Matt Hardy, and they see IRS pop up. <laughs> like that, that's so odd. But anyways. Uh, uh, oh, I was going to say for the old, old school fans, um, they could add, oh gosh, not Waylon Mercy, but I forgot what his, what gimmick was in WWE. They can add Barry Windham too. Oh, the, get a stalker. Whole, the stalker? The stalker. Make it a whole family affair. Yes. I'd be, I'd be on board with that. <laughs> like you just see him lurking in the woods in the camo. Like, yeah. Exactly. I'd, I'd be on board with that. That'd be great. <laughs> Um, let's talk about how Raw uh, started up because I know uh, they were saying in the chat room like a couple people were saying that that was like you know the best part of the night. Um, where <laughs> Ronda Rousey. It was a bright spot. It was a bright spot. It, it was. was fine, but it illustrates that WWE does not hold on. Hook themselves into a corner. Let's let's roll back. So so we're doing the last uh, celebration. Ronda comes out, attacks her. Um, then 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 fends off angle and then starts beat him like i i think i think miss somebody here uh said like started hitting him like it was a domestic abuse case uh yeah. like with the with the suitcase like it was crazy like she has some pent-up anger against men or something yeah first. yeah <laughs> i don't know why she could would we could we see a segment with a certain doctor coming back for anger management no. 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 no, he only makes one of two faces, and neither of those are bemused. <laughs> I like that angry Ronda true. face though, and not like you know mean, uh, um, you know, holding their breath, angry kid, uh, mean Ronda face that we no. have been getting, Ronda, but like Ronda Rousey goes from Make a Wish to Ms. Girl. That's what she does. Oh, she does. Wow. That's all she does, she just transitions from Make a Wish to Ms. Girl. Hmm. That. That's but, very accurate. Uh, okay, so, so let's let's talk about Rhonda for a second. Okay. Um. So they don't want her to have the title. No, not yet. That's too no, quick. Yeah, it's too quick. Um, it's definitely. Yeah, but it's almost like they shouldn't be booking her in matches where she can't lose them because they right. don't want her to lose. Right. So they do bullshit DQ finishes. And then they're like, oh, wait, but now we set up a feud that we can't possibly have because Alex is the champion now and Ronda will destroy her. So let's suspend her for a month so we don't have to worry about her. Right. But now we're well, going. You... Go ahead, Tina. I was going to say, you, you tie up you tie up the Alexa Naya thing at Extreme Rules that you guys that I'm sure, I'm sure sword you'll get the pleasure of seeing live. Woohoo! <laughs> and then um, and then you have your big money match for SummerSlam. Alexa versus uh, Alexa versus Ronda. I guarantee that's I I don't think that's the match. Mm. I don't think that's the match at all. Mm. I don't mm. think it is because that's not it's one thing to say that that's going to happen but then think of that actual match. Alexa Bliss who doesn't do many wrestling moves. Ronda Rousey mm. does one wrestling move. I, well I think so you're you're looking at it on paper for what it is. Um, but but I think I think there will be more elements by the time we get there, right? There maybe there'll be a new enforcer, mm-hmm. right? Wouldn't it be interesting if um, what what if Alexa recruited Sonya um, no. No. as as her second to so there's like or wait a second wait a second first of all Sonya's on SmackDown. Secondly, you're doing writing. WWE doesn't do that. <laughs> okay. Or there's a certain champion, a certain other brand could drop the title. The night before, and could be Alexa's backup. Again, mm. you're doing right, Tina, and that's a great idea. That would never happen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it will happen when it's the right time to happen. That's when true. the stars have aligned, and and the horse horses I, I, are lined up. What do you do with horses? Wait. I believe Mr. Missy is chiming in. The reason you can't have Ronda Alexa feud is because Alexa has zero credibility against someone like Ronda. And producer Missy's correct. But she is but she is she is tricky, right? Uh, but But Sorg, Ronda can't lose. Mm-hmm. 
So, unless she gets like hit in the head with the in the back of the head with a brick. No, but, but, but okay. So you're gonna have SummerSlam go out like that. No, or, or you or you have James Ellsworth, or you have James Ellsworth hop up on the apron, cosplaying playing as a uh, Ronda Rousey. First of all, I would pay to see that. Mm-hmm. Second, no, that doesn't. We've established it's a medium. All... We've established a medium with that Oscar <laughs> thing last night. You should have kept Asuka on Raw. Your angle, uh, by the way, I think your anger is garbling the internet a little bit. So, <laughs> bruh, 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 mad, mad, mad. Well, you know what? I don't give a damn about reputation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on to another thing. Because I'm sure we're going to talk and get angry about Ronda Rousey being the new uh, Lady Lesnar or whatnot, uh, uh, you know, even more. Lady Lesnar. Good. Lady Lesnar. Lady Lesnar. That's better than the thing I said in Slack. Hey, it's the, it, it, it was the with... thing that came out like in person, and yeah. I'm just like, I shouldn't See, tweet that. The thing is, like, not I the thing I said. Problem. That there's another thing that I said, and I'm like, yeah. Don't even. Don't. Even. And I'm not I going have to. A problem but. with what they're doing with Rousey. If they didn't make it a point to the first time she shows up on TV, she specifically said that she doesn't have a Brock Lesnar contract. Right. Like mm-hmm. she should just say. Yeah, I have a contract similar to Brock Lesnar. Just say it. <laughs> just say it. But yeah, that's, how, it's... that's how they're treating her. Right, right. Like um, this one tag match. I mean, and I, then she gets a still shot. She's already, I think, done more than Brock. But you know, it's it's. But you can't. You the know. Undertaker has had more matches than both of them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Um, yeah, and, and then the Natalia friendship thing just goes away. That that that's, that Natty's a bad actress. It's Nat, Natty not like, hey, calm down, Rhonda. You know, what's up? What's up, Boo? Um, anyways, let's talk about cats. Uh, but <laughs> also tonight, you saw you saw you know, what it felt is, like. Is it the sun's getting real low for Rhonda. <laughs> Rhonda. <laughs> Natty just rolling in like, what's about cats? Sun's what's going. Sun? Sun's getting real you, low, big girl. You need two claws? Have you seen two paws? We've seen the two paws. Here. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just flashed the Thor saying, saying that uh-huh. in the last uh-huh. movie. Spoiler alert. They even do that in Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, oh, they do. Yeah, they do. It's weird seeing that in two movies in two weeks. But anyways, that's another podcast uh, that we don't do on this network. Um, technically. So, Dolph Ziggler, huh? <laughs> Uh, as, as an expert that's an expert transition no okay mr. so Go-Bot himself mr gobot himself mr gobot himself okay explain this explain this uh, everyone wants Dolph Ziggler and drew mcintyre to be sean michaels and diesel there's a problem neither of them are sean michaels or diesel right. i would rather have 55 year old sean michaels and 60 year old ass diesel doing the same thing who was it that said that the wrong one got the belt <laughs> i think that was alex was that alex that might Probably, have been alex yeah. yeah um i i'm curious because something happened you know it's one of those and i know you know it's almost like the the impact wrestling you know uh maybe they'll get it right this time that that that, that abused us for so many years right um sorg maybe sorg. I mean, this is the reason you stop watching Impact because guess what? They don't get it right. No, 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 no. And Dolph Ziggler is like Im- is like Impact Wrestling embedded in WWE, uh, and, and embodied in a person that has a weird concept. Like I, it, his, his no entrance. Your gimmicks are stupid thing. Mm. Um, just it's awkward. It hasn't found a spot yet, See, and they've been doing it for six months. Yeah, like. And they already did it better on NXT. Who's liking it? No one. I guarantee Dolph doesn't even like it. No. No. I guarantee Wait. Dolph doesn't even like it. I have a question, though. Um, they mentioned that it was his uh, Dolph's sixth Intercontinental title reign. Yeah. yeah. Now, are they trying to go for like him breaking Jericho's record? Or... No, because cause Miz is closer than that. Yeah, but the Intercontinental title's on Raw right now. Yeah, yeah. but I no, I think they're I think they're just pulling it out. I feel like it could be like I, I feel like they might hot hot potato this belt a little bit. Yeah. I sure as shit hope so. Hmm. Do something but, with it. I mean, especially now in this long draw without a title. Um, you know, that that's usually they usually up something like that. 
And if we're lining up for like they build something up, we get extreme rules, Dolphin, Seth, mm -hmm. maybe maybe there's another title switch. Um, they introduce I don't know some element next week. Uh, so and, and the element in Tina, you're right. It's probably going to be Dean Ambrose coming. Yeah, back. it's going to be Dean Ambrose yeah. coming back. And, yeah, and I, yeah. really, I it's don't getting want closer. that. I really don't want that. Because he's been out since November. He's he's been out a while. Yeah. Yeah. But I I don't know. It's just. Well, I thought they were supposed to be this great tag team. They said last week they're going to run the tag team division. <laughs> they did, didn't they? <laughs> and welcome to the Air Continental. Maybe they're just going to collect their they belts. Just, like, mm -hmm. like, uh, just like if you want, if you want to take the title off a lot, off Seth Rollins, give it to Elias. Our, give our. Like guarantee he's not winning that whatever the main event at Extreme Rules is. By the way, Sorg, hmm. I, I I teased this before we went on air. Do you want to know how not creative WWE is right now? How is that, Mike? Uh, do you remember what the main event for last year's Extreme Rules was? I do not because it was it a memorable was, show. It was a fatal five way mm -hmm. to determine who faces Universal Champion Brock Lesnar. Am I watching a repeat, Mike? I believe time is a flat circle, and we're all cutting in, it ca caught in a loop. Mm. Um, Vince McMahon, so, so, uh, to bargain. I've come to bargain. <laughs> That's a Doctor Strange reference. Oh, Tina. So they're just having interchangeable parts because Samoa Joe won last year. Yeah, yeah, and Ke and Kevin Owens is the Samoa Joe this year, but he's not going to win because Bobby Lashley is going to win because. WWE hates us. <laughs> this is the whenever I see like something like the gender Roman uh, part of the show, like on Money in the Bank last night, I'm like, oh, this is the part for Vince, uh, most likely. But anyways, uh, rest of the show, um, Mike, have the mommies uh, broken up? Wait, what? Bailey and so I was I was trying to figure a segue, and I don't think it came out right. Wow. Are Sasha, are Sasha and Bailey finally broken up? <laughs> Wait, why, hold on. Why did you call them the mommies? I don't know. I was thinking that I was like, are mommy and daddy, um, you know. Oh. oh yeah, oh, oh, yeah. And that's okay. how I transitioned. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, it doesn't work at all. Um, no, it does not work at all. No. But, uh, I mean, it appears so. And it's about damn time. But it's way too little, way too late. Yeah, yeah. We've been doing this since before WrestleMania. It should have been at WrestleMania. Then Bailey should have gone to SmackDown, mm -hmm. or Sasha should have gone to SmackDown, and then they could. But like th this, if they do a blow-off match and Extreme Rules match, still on the same show, it's not going to end. Yeah, like, and and then it with Ronda in the title picture, neither of them are going to be involved with that. So, but I find it interesting though. I, I just want it the other way because we always see Sasha being the aggressor. I want to. I want Bailey to flip that switch. Well, Bailey attacked her first. That's true. That's true. True. Well, Bailey attacked her. That, and then top of that, go ahead and have the final one at SummerSlam because that's kind of where they kind of got started. Yeah, in with NXT Takeover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and you know, and, and I think I think probably both of them are due for an evolution at this point. Like the next step of what a Sasha Banks and what a Bailey is, right? Um, yeah, the next step for both of them is they should be on a different show. <laughs> One of them should be on a different show away from the other. Right, right. Like, like just... that—that's the next step. They need—they need separation. Like we need separation from for Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Mm -hmm. And and Missy, I know that WWE hates me, and it's because I can't stop watching. But uh, journalistic integrity. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy! Um, and other than that tonight, uh, plus if I didn't watch. I wouldn't have got to see the awesome B team segment. So. That's right. That's right. You you yeah. sh sift through three three hours and fifteen minutes to find that one mm -hmm. B team comedy it, spot. You find you find the one piece of roast beef in a shit sandwich. But guess what? It's a shit sandwich. <laughs> um, Kevin Owens, I think is the MVP of tonight. Kevin Owens is always the MVP of yes. every show. Kevin Owens is Kevin Owens all over the place. Um, I thought he was just going to be just just mad he got thrown off of a ladder last night. But I, I like his uh, kind of side plays he's been doing uh, before and after the Money in the Bank match. And I also enjoy um, 
um, Braun's little buddy. That, oh, I hate that. that. We no, th- that I hate we that. think that Braun thinks he's a leprechaun and is going to get the, the pot of gold soon. Um, Finn Balor. No, I I hate the little buddy <sighs> thing. Because if they keep treating Finn like a little buddy, guess what? He's never going to win the big belt. Mm-hmm. No. Oh, and speaking of like little big references, can we just mention that Team Little Big won Money in the Bank? It's canon. <gasps> no it's canon. way. Yeah. It's canon. So, I only wish they had mentioned that on Raw. Yeah. I only wish they had mentioned that. Like, Braun had a segment. Alexa had a segment. They both could have mentioned it. Neither one of them fucking did. <laughs> and by the way, SmackDown is fucked. Because <laughs> nobody won anything last night. Nope, it's no. And people like, are just straight getting ball. kicked in the balls, literally. It's a madhouse. Yeah. No, it's it's my house. Oh. <laughs> Oof. Hey, Gia. <laughs> oh, oh man, it was an awkward WrestleMania weekend with her. Raw <laughs> was not good. I like, so, no. You go in the comments of Raw after Mania. Mm-hmm. What are you on, and how did you obtain it legally? Um, so, no. Good. So just to be fair, it started off at high point. But again, it will spiral down afterwards. Yeah, I said that at 9.30. I want to point out, it was pretty damn good until 9.30. And then we got, like, Mojo. We got, well, we got Sorg. Elias. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Sorg. Yes. Sorg, to be fair, besides the BT segment, it pretty much went downhill probably about 8.45, 9 o'clock. There was something I liked in that 9 to 9.30 por- portion I was, like, really cool with. I can't remember what it was for the life of me. Maybe it's it another one. Rollins match. Is it the Rollins match? Well, I love the Rollins match. Uh, no, yeah. that was like the second thing they did was the Rollins match. That was pre-9 yeah. o'clock. So, anyways, but Elias, we, we were talking last night at the uh, the watch party here in the studio about, like I, like, I love how Elias, like, he was getting bigger. He's, like, evolving through the steps of rock and roller that he has the silk kimono thing and the, the wraps around his wrists. He's, like, I think he's in, like, that 80s uh, Steven Tyler kind of mode. And then he lost the big one. He came back and did nothing but sing promo his way yeah. and that was it tonight and just, it yeah, was just, freaking epic he just dropped his new single he just dropped his new single <laughs> that's what that's what it was he just dropped his new single what would the life <laughs> so i, I want to see what he does with this I, I i hope it ends up with you know given the kind of the context of it um actually it was <laughs> rock do you really think that's gonna happen so <laughs> No, but he's going to be part of this uh, five way for sure. Well, we don't even know it's a five way. I'm just saying it was a. No, five-way actually, we do. Kn- we do know it's a five way. Com- there's completely a graphic with uh, uh, Bobby and Reigns and three other silhouettes. Oh my god! On really? The site. Yeah, no, I was just looking at it in the app. I think somewhere on here. I was just flipping through the results. So yeah, uh, Mike, that's happening. Well, I don't think Kevin Owens is going to be in it because now Kevin Owens is the Braun distractor. Because Brock can't be in that match. Right, right. Um, Baron Corbin, um, his first uh, oh, you wrestling. Mean Cor- you mean Corbin Kane? I was going to say, yeah, his debut is Corbin Kane, and uh, he needs to get a <laughs> thicker shirt, apparently, because he's playing right through that thing. Yeah, he, he is just Corporate Kane. I, I feel like this is just like somebody was looking at him, probably Vince, and be like, hey, here's got to go, and we got to cover the stomach. We just need to make him look like Kane, damn it. <laughs> You're like, I work for Kane. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> who do we say he's the brother of? How do we, how do we cover up that he's almost 50 years old and still doing this? Let's put him in a suit. Yeah. Um, but it was a, it, it, it was a good I – like, I like establishing that he's still going to be wrestling. He's not going to be just the asshole guy. Uh, poking poking at uh, angle. Oh, he's really good being the asshole poking at a- angle he's too. Be in that main event. What's that? He's probably gonna be in the main event of Extreme Rules. That makes sense. That makes sense where this is going. Especially you got the pin on Finn, of course, tonight. Uh, so that's a thing. Man, I can't wait for Finn to come back around. Right? It's not gonna happen. No, no, probably it not. 
Let's, let's it's been, it's been have, the new Daniel Bryan. Nakamura. What's that? I said it'll happen the same time it happens with Nakamura. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's been the new underdog, the new Daniel Bryan against the authority. No. No, because the problem is, like, we didn't have, like, right now there are many Daniel Bryans. Right. And there's 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 many there's many pre, um, you know, proto Daniel Bryan's before the yes movement. And there's a lot of post Daniel Bryan's. So it's really hard to float the right Daniel Bryan's over. So now the pre Daniel Bryan's don't get a chance, a chance to become post Daniel Bryan's. And it's not because there's too many Randy Orton's and Batista's around. Well, no, it's because there's too many. Jack well, I'm sorry. The sirens are actually drowning you out. So. Yeah, I said it's because there are too many Brock Lesnar's around. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, well, because ah. there's, no, there's nothing to fight for on Raw. Yeah, yeah. Because everyone who should be in the main event going for the Universal title is stuck in mid-card hell. God, WWE could benefit so much from a third main show. Oh, my God, no, no. <laughs> God, Four. they got the talent for it. They got the talent for it. But you know what they could also benefit from? Having an actual champion on your show. Yeah, yeah. It solves a lot yeah. of problems. Yeah, I mean. It solves a lot of issues. You know, we have, you're down a championship. But and the Yeah, so. The Smackdown is good because you see Ma- the Mike, man who represents the Mike, brand Mike, Mike, how many seconds of Raw was watchable for you tonight? <laughs> 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 the exact number of seconds Bo Dallas is on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I'm not even gonna count it. No, no, you can do the homework I'm yourself, just, right, guys? I'm just, I'm just gonna pretend I'm Eric, um, Eric Bischoff and say, did I just hear somebody say three minutes? <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Tina? Um, I'm gonna say probably about a good maybe hour forty-five to two hours, maybe. Oh, you're way too generous. You're way too generous. I, I, I enjoyed this show tonight. And again, I'm going in. And again, I, I go with the context of, I'm, okay, here, here's the difference. I'm watching a really good 30-minute Iron Man, 30 minute Iron Man match. I'm, I'm, I'm switching it uh, Saturday night. And like I was saying with the New Japan Dominion last week, I can't, st- I can't get that Gresham match out of my head from two weeks ago. Watching <laughs> Raw, it's, uh, r- watching Raw is like watching a soap opera. That is like, no, I'm not looking. I don't need thinky pain right now. I'm just going to have something that's flashy colors. And that's raw. (laughs) And that's good for me for two and a half hours. So that is my time for Monday Night Raw. It's it's so flashy. Wait, no, it's not. (laughs) No. Bobby Lashley screams flashy. No, no, that's definitely, that was definitely (laughs) a big chunk taken out of that half hour. Um, The other was not crazy about No Way Jose and mojo good point by larry tonight uh was in here watching a little bit of the show uh and he says man those guys gotta be really pissed that there's all you know they signed all those tna guys veterans so it's like i was like why i was like well those guys are in they're really good and guys like a mojo raleigh and a no way jose they're not fucking going anywhere nope unless i mean unless you're a braun Strowman, right so and genetics won that game uh but you know <laughs> but uh, even braun Strowman, you can argue isn't going anywhere until he beats Brock Lesnar. Right. Because he's still, guess what? Stuck in the mid. Yeah, you know, it's something to say about the chase, man. But there's no one to chase. Unless someone goes to Minnesota and knocks on a barnyard door, there's no one. No, Canada, Canada. Canada, excuse me. You know what? I, I really hope that this does turn into because, um, you know, Braun said all he has to do is show up and he doesn't show up until, you know, we're after uh, uh, Extreme Rules. And he's just like, hey, um, he's not showing up, so I'm going to go find him. And he- I would love that, especially if, he, if you like see a weekly vignette where he's just carrying a ref over his shoulder the <laughs> in one hand and he's just like looking for Brock I just want like a tiny jet and it's one of those like an Indiana Jones where you see the jet like like on the map but like his <laughs> head and his arms are sticking out of the side of the plane you know because it's Brock hear that or or 
Or you do a graphic where Braun, where Braun looks like the Tasmanian devil, and you see him tearing up like a map of the U.S. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's going to different areas, just looking for Brock Lesnar. That's all he, needs to do. he goes to different places. Like he goes to Canada. He checks the Minnesota Vikings training camp. Like <laughs> he goes, goes to Las Vegas. Vegas. Yeah, he goes to Vegas. He goes to Paul Heyman's house and finds <laughs> stacks of old tapes of ECW. Like, there's so many fun things <laughs> he can do with this. But they're not oh, gonna do it. Oh man, I'm looking. I'm Brock, look- Brock. Let's see. Braun needs a wrap on his back, a grappling hook, and that Money in the Bank briefcase. I'm looking to see that if you, in the WWE rulebook here, if uh, you can go to Canada and cash in your Money in the Bank on somebody's doorstep. Uh, so yes, yeah, so you, you can, but you have to be real polite about it. Yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'd like to cash in my money in the bank, eh? Uh, yeah, it says here. It says here that you got to clear it with the local Mounties because of international oh, standards. Well, they're handsome. They're brave and they're strong. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it is money in the bank, and there's a conversion rate, so you got to oh. see how that works out in the end. Uh, thank you, everybody. Uh, th- Tina, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> uh, no problem. Thank, thank you, you for having me. Thank you, and we're sorry. <laughs> uh where can people find you online to get your uh you definitely share a lot of thoughts on pro wrestling uh on there as well uh my twitter uh stork has it down on the bottom you can also find me at tt0082 on instagram or find me at tina keys on facebook um i would actually like to plug wrestling here in seattle area there's promotions called defy wrestling and also 321 battle that you can check out on twitch excellent and of course mad mike is mad mike 4 day three getting mad on the internets and then we get very um bipolar when we're tweeting on monday nights oh, <laughs> i love yeah. this. this is the greatest thing this show sucks no it, you know, you know what's the greatest thing <laughs> when mad mike tweets about lucha underground every wednesday at mayhem show look for the hashtag mm so good to say that again <laughs> i will be i will be on a plane during lucha underground <gasps> No, what are the chances? Do you think Delta has El Rey on their in in? No, they would never have have El Rey on their in flight no, stream. No, probably not. That's that's too crazy, right? Oh, Delta, no, no, they wouldn't. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I changed planes at like 8:30 p.m. in Atlanta, so it wouldn't. If even... you had JetBlue, maybe. Oh, I mean, the JetBlue JetBlue, yeah, JetBlue but... goes nowhere. I, I go, unfortunately, so. Um, have not tried them, but thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, everybody. That has been uh, Raw. Uh, Alex Miller says, uh, "Did we say this already?" Raw was twenty minutes watchable, and then the rest uh, uh, is an AJ Styles just kicking the nuts. That, that sounds accurate to me. <laughs> there you go. Just <laughs> haul off and wail away. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Sorgatron on the Twitter. Check out everything at sorgatronmedia.com, wrestlingmayhemshow.com. You can support the show at patreon.com slash wrestlingmayhemshow. We have fun prizes like a poster, a movie poster for uh, the John Cena starring blockers that will be determined to you pledgers at patreon.com slash wrestlingmayhemshow in a game of Patreon Rumble here in July. I actually realized, like, like wow, that's only a couple weeks away that we'll do the next one, and now I'm planning it in advance. I can't wait to see how this goes again. Uh, so well, you should t- you should you should stream it on the YouTube. Oh, it's on the Twitch. Oh, it's oh, it's on the Twitch. Yeah, we so we streamed it on the Twitch. It's over there. Uh, maybe we'll stream it more than one place. I don't. We'll see. We'll see. I just used Xbox Twitch. So, uh, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Until next time, keep it raw. I don't give a-